I contribute to uh, Sirius XM, the PGA uh, Tour Radio with Carl Paulson and Dennis Paulson, and uh, I have spoken many times about the, uh, the need for people to understand what the spine does in the golf swing and how to uh, prepare yourself for a, a good round of golf and how to prevent yourself from injury. If they have a specific injury to the lumbar spine or the cervical spine, then we can address that particular problem. But that's just the, the baseline. There has to be an understanding about what the spine does in golf. And particularly the lower back. The lower back was never intended to be a big mover and shaker in the golf swing. And that might surprise people. The lumbar spine was meant to be the rock, the stability. It was meant to keep everything stable while everything moved around it. Unfortunately, because of either not proper instruction or just because certain other parts of the body aren't working properly, people start to use the lumbar spine to rotate and to drive through the golf ball and as a result, they're putting too much stress on the lumbar area. So it's not only just trying to, quote, fix a anatomical issue that may have happened, but then to retrain to understand that maybe your golf swing needs to change to spare your back. If you have an understanding of what the spine is supposed to do in the golf swing, then we may have people play much longer in their lives. I've seen 87-year-olds that, that do well after a surgery. And before it's like, oh, what's, you shouldn't operate on somebody that old. Well, if they are healthy enough to, to handle uh, anesthesia and, and any of the regular risks of surgery, why not if they feel that they have more to contribute?